Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Kiki Sparkles. Hello. And we're going to talk about uh, Dear Departed Betty White. It is her birthday today? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Okay. Tomorrow is her birthday. She would have been 100 years old. And there's actually now a Betty White challenge. Uh, that is inspiring people to donate to animal shelters. Right, and because I want to do something a little more positive. It's sad, but it's positive. I wanted to cover this because um, we, we we love animals here, and yeah, we, we, we got a lot of our animals from shelters. And um, right now, shelters are, are really getting overrun a lot of times, too. I guess people you know adopted pets during the pandemic, and now they're taking them to shelters and dropping them off in record numbers. So I wanted to mention this Betty White Challenge, um, because that way maybe people go out and help animal shelters. Yeah, so that's always a good thing. Mm -hmm. So you know, we're going to try to spread a little positivity here on Clownfish TV on this mm -hmm. weekend uh, in honor of Betty White, who everyone collectively agrees should mm -hmm. have lived to be 100 years old. Yes. Anyway, uh, so we're going to talk about that. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. Oh, over 253,000 subs. Really? We are? Yeah, we're finally over yeah! 253. Oh my gosh, I didn't even know. Yeah, thank you for the support. We do talk about pop culture. Uh, we give our hot takes and opinions on everything going on in pop culture. And of course, uh, the entertainment industry was shocked and saddened by the passing of Betty White. Mm -hmm. It was uh, far too soon. Yes, 99. they were going to have all kinds of stuff tomorrow for her birthday. Yeah. Um, and even though she didn't make it to her birthday, um, this challenge originated to try to do something that they know she would have loved in her memory. Yeah, she was a huge, huge uh, advocate for animals, um, animal rights activist. Uh, you know, you've probably seen commercials with her uh -huh. talking about, you know, animals and and uh, she had many, 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 many animals, as I understand That's it. That's okay. I, I, too, have had many, many <laughs> animals over the years. So this is the uh, the Betty White Challenge. It's a hashtag, hashtag Betty White Challenge. Um, so fans of the late actress Betty White have come up with a unique way to honor her memory. Mm -hmm. This is around the globe. I guess it's global they're doing it. Yep. Uh, the Golden Girls actress died a mere 17 days before celebrating her milestone birthday of 100 years. Uh, fans have taken to Twitter to honor White and think of a way to celebrate her birthday. A graphic has now gone viral with over 30,000 likes on Twitter. On Betty White's so one, one time Twitter's worth something. One time Twitter is worth something, yeah. On Betty White's 100th birthday, everyone should pick a local rescue or animal shelter in your area and donate just $5 in Betty White's name. Make her 100th birthday the movement she deserves. The actress famously loved animals and had been pictured with many furry friends. Uh, in fact, she loved animals so much, she once privately paid to fly animals out of an aquarium after Hurricane Katrina. Aww. That's actually very awesome. Um, yeah, so that actually does seem like a a decent challenge, and I am I'm shocked that uh, Twitter came up with it. Yeah, for, le for, for about what you would pay for a small package of Tide Pods, you can instead give money to an animal shelter. Or sometimes those animal shelters are looking for donations and a lot of times they need detergent so you can send the Tide Pods to the shelter. But, you know, um, I'm sure if you wanted to give more than $5, you could. If you wanted to even give a dollar, you probably could. I just think the point is everybody to go out there and try to, to, to do something um, tomorrow to raise money for animals in, in Betty White's name. Yeah, so it's not clear who started it, but uh, George Takei and, and Mark Hamill took credit. No, um, <laughs> they're saying that they got it got retweeted by George Takei and, and Mark Hamill. And I think everybody can agree that uh, Betty White was pretty awesome. You know, oh, if you yeah. see Betty White on Twitter, I was worried they were going to try to cancel her for her birthday, which would be awful. Mm -hmm. You know, retroactively cancel her. They, I don't think anybody's going to cancel Betty White. I don't know. Some Some deep, dark corners of the Internet would totally try to cancel Betty White. For what? Being, for being too, too nice. awesome for being too awesome that's yeah. why they try to cancel me all it's the her time. privilege it's because i'm just too awesome she's too awesome um yeah so she had hero Do let's see here uh during the decades in which white was involved with the organization that'd be the american humane society she made fundraising appeals and served on its board and as a presenter and judge on its televised show featuring hero dogs uh, during tapings of the pet set in the 70s uh, white would have american humane representatives on set to ensure that animals were safe so she and did. she got the highest award, the National Humanitarian Medal. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, I mean, look, and I mean, I know there's a lot of people that debate things about, like, certain organizations. I mean, I probably wouldn't give money to PETA if it was me. No. But, you know, um, 
I'm sure you have the, the local, you, where you're at, there's probably local organizations. I mean, you can give to national ones too, but um, most places have shelters in their area. And oftentimes they are desperately in need of help yeah. and funds. They have lists of things that they are, are, you know, are needing right now. Like I know one by us needed detergent and bleach like immediately mm. and things like that. So I'm sure you could donate items even off like an Amazon wish list or something, take it in. You could take gift cards in. Or whatever, but tomorrow I guess they want to try to do as much as they can for animal shelters um, in Betty White's name. Yeah, so that that is uh, definitely something we can get behind. So we thought we would, um, you know, help spread the message mm -hmm. uh, here on our hate filled. Yes, because uh, I love animals. It's a, it's a thing. Ask Neon how much I uh, love animals. That is true. She does. Uh, she loves animals a lot, and we have a lot of animals to love. Mm -hmm. so. And I even love the wild ones too. Yes, you do. You've, she's actually adopted some chipmunks and squirrels. and. Well, I give them food. I've run across a busy road to try to save a bunny once. She did. And a turtle. I did. I saved that turtle. I got it um, off the road. I made all the traffic wait until I walked it off the road. <laughs> yeah. Well, he wasn't walking very fast. He was walking Well, that's why I had to get out of the car so no one hit him. Yeah, we don't want anybody to hit Or her. Car. I don't know. I, I didn't look. I didn't lift a tail and see. <laughs> But, you know, I, I, I do. So I, this is something that I wanted to cover because it's really important to me. Um, and I'm very much like wanting to help animal shelters. And I, I completely believe in you know, adopting from shelters and, you know, things like that. Uh, we got most of our pets from a shelter and our mm -hmm. most recent adoption, Rio Oki. Rio Oki, yep. He came from a shelter and, uh, and this poor kitty, um, when they got him, I guess they, they were left in a garbage can. And he was in the bottom underneath a bunch of papers and two other cats that were like way bigger than he was. And they almost didn't see him because they just left him there. Yeah. So yeah, I am all about saving animals and, and giving money to shelters. And I do it anyway. So if you could tomorrow, um, do it for Betty White. Do it for Betty White. Don't do it for us. Yeah, you can do it for me too if you want to, but do it for Betty White. Yeah. But, you know, we're trying. I think it'd be amazing to see how this turns out. So spread the word. Tomorrow is the day. Um, please try to, to give some money to shelters in Betty White's name. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to wrap it up. Yeah. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye.